Hello everybody, happy Friday. Dr. Candace here, your board certified pediatrician and kid health expert. I'm here today with the word in the clinic. And today the word in the clinic is wash, wash. And I know you're like, what, what is that? So that is a term that a father used recently when he brought his daughter, young daughter in with a vaginal complaint. She was complaining that it was itchy down there. And he said, you need to check her wash wash. And I said, what? <laughs> so I took care of that and then I had to have a talk with dad because that's a pretty negative term for a body part that is equal to all other body parts because it is an organ that has function and it has purpose. And the name Wash Wash to me um, puts it in the negative light, right? If you know what I mean. So that sparked a conversation that I have with parents all the time because I can give you guys endless scenarios um, of children being uncomfortable with talking about their private body parts or having them examined and also parents, adults being uncomfortable with that. And so it's really something that I talk about a lot with children and with parents and I wanna share it with you. First, I wanna give you another story to give you a perfect example. I was at the school and there was a young man who was very intelligent, very smart, and he knows I'm a doctor, and he, uh, we were in an uh, interaction with the kids selling some things, and in it, appropriately, came up mammals, and he was trying to describe to me why a mammal was a mammal, and he said nipple um, to describe that the baby feeds from the mom just like humans to get milk. The teacher became very blushed, and she tried to stop his conversation with me because he said nipple and other people were around. A couple of people looked up and some it didn't bother, it didn't bother me. And so later that weekend, we were in a social scenario with the kids and this child's father came to apologize to me. And I was like, what? He didn't do anything wrong. And so the child came up again, he was there. And then I said, so did you figure out the nipple thing? And his dad was like, oh my God, no, Candace. And he pushed him away and walked away. So as you can clearly see, his child's mind was nowhere his father's mind was, right? So oftentimes times, us adults project our own issues or concerns or what I call sexualization of the private body parts onto our children. They are not thinking about that, okay? Um, that comes down the road, but initially when they're talking about their body parts or they bring up these things, it definitely wasn't that type of conversation. And it was okay for him to use the proper term because nipple is a proper term to describe and talk about mammals. And we shouldn't have taken it there in our minds. And so, you know, this is an ongoing issue, you know, where a child may say my vagina or my penis and the teacher is, a, is scared or ashamed or don't say that and yet we accept these other names like wash wash and so I want you adults to be more comfortable teaching your kids proper body term proper t terms for their body parts all their body parts we teach them ears we teach them nose so why can't they say vagina or penis or breast okay so let's practice that and really think about why you're so ashamed or uncomfortable with that because that you know, will uh, affect your child's comfortability with it. I wanna give you three reasons why this is so important, that you teach your child proper body terms and that you come to grips with your own con issues with using proper body terms when you teach them to your child or hearing a child saying that. Three reason reasons why. And I wrote a blog about this a while back. It was in reference to the Me Too movement. There's one section of that blog, Me Too movements, lessons for our children, that talks about body talk. I also have a podcast episode, episode five, Body Talk and Puberty, a tough but necessary conversation, okay? But the first step is we have to be comfortable, all right, and work, work through our own issues. The first reason why you need to teach your child to say the proper terms 
is because using children who say the proper terms are more comfortable discussing their bodies, okay? They won't cover their face or giggle or refuse to let me check them. They won't be embarrassed. They won't have all that negativity around their body parts. They, they, and I can see the difference with parents who talk to their kids and who don't. So they become more comfortable with their bodies, which is very important, trust me. The second tip is children who use nicknames, Wee Wee, Pocket Bug, uh, you know all the names. They struggle to clearly communicate problems with their genitals with their body parts. In, in cases of it's itching or it hurts or something's burning, they may delay telling their parent or coming to the doctor because they're just embarrassed. And we can't have that, right? Also, in the case of sexual abuse, they often can't describe when, where, how something was touched because of the shame and stigma around that. So we need to remove all of that so they can comfortably say when, where, where they were touched, they can come to you right away. They don't feel ashamed or uncomfortable about it, and they can tell you what happened. That's what happens when we kind of use all these nicknames and, and stop them from having those discussions. The third tip is that kids who are comfortable with discussing their body and those who communicate correctly all of their body parts are empowered, like I just said, to seek medical attention or even a, a report abuse because they are not ashamed okay so that's the protective nature that it affords our children that's the comfortability it affords our children which will keep them healthy okay so that's why guys we should teach them head shoulder knees and toes don't forget breast vagina penis anus let them say their body parts, okay? And if they think it's funny, that's cool. But let them say the body parts. Teachers out there, if you hear a child using proper body terms, don't shame them or fuss at them because of that. That is appropriate, okay? Now, I mentioned it's, oh, I want to say this. It's okay to use nicknames. I'm not totally like wanting to judge that because synonyms are fine. But first, teach them the proper terms, allow them to use those, and then as they add on nicknames, that's okay. But what I really want you to do is erase the shame, the embarrassment, the stigma of using those proper body parts. Again, they are just as important as other body parts. They have function, they have purpose, they are not nasty, they are not to be sexualized, they do more than just engage in sexual activity. So we shouldn't put that that label or that cloud over them okay so that's all I wanted to talk about today so you adults out there if you're not comfortable practicing vagina practicing penis okay testes all of that stuff teach those to our kids as early as you're teaching them ears and nose and eyes okay they should learn it then perfect time during bath time don't skip anything and try not to use the replacement cute whatever names if they want to pick that up later, it's fine, but try to use the proper body parts, okay? All right, that's all I have for today. You can take a look at that blog on my website, drcandismd.com. You can listen to that episode. It was a wonderful episode. It even goes into discussing how you can talk to your children about puberty. And the doctor that has that discussion with me, she's an OBGYN. And she even has two great books about talking about puberty with your kids, one for boys and one for girls. So check out episode uh, five on Kidding Around with Dr. Candace. That's SoundCloud, um, Apple Podcasts, Google Play Music, or you can link it from my website, drcandacemd.com. Now, if you have any questions, concerns, or something to say about what I talked about today, because I know this is a touchy subject, please reach out to me in comments or go to info at drcandacemd.com md.com but i hope this was helpful and it'll start a new pattern or behavior with teaching your kids the proper names for things so that they're knowledgeable and they're empowered to take care of their health and advocate for themselves okay have a great weekend and i just want to give you guys an update on the beyonce uh jay-z concert the on the run tour was awesome uh we did that we had so much fun i don't regret it um so just in case you guys can't cared about how my uh that trip was down to Miami. Have a great weekend guys. We'll talk next week with the word in the clinic. Bye.